If anyone's looking to start their business, I think passion is going to be the number one thing. You know, there's an expression that a good idea will sell itself, but we've often found that good ideas don't sell themselves without passion. And people are looking for you to have the passion to follow through on that idea, stick with that idea, and be willing to be the person that will talk about it, sell it, embrace it, because if you won't, no one will. And so being able to bring that enthusiasm, that belief in your idea, is what's going to make it possible for people to buy into you as well. Well, I would say that number one, it's it's really an exciting uh, endeavor to, to be an entrepreneur. It does have its ups and downs, but if you are doing something that you're really passionate about, it's pretty easy to stay motivated. Uh, I would say the most exciting thing that's happened throughout my career or as an entrepreneur to this point is um, the fact that customers vocalize how much of an impact this has for their patients and for their surgical operations. And that really uh, hits home for everybody on our team. It's just incredibly important that our product and technology is, is actually helping patients. Failure is what it is today, not because of me, but because of the input from customers, our very loyal customers, and the ones that give me ideas and suggestions and take ownership. If they see something wrong, they want me to know about it. They're very protective of our business. But also I tell my staff, you're paid to think because it's because of all of them, like I said, for delivering the service every day. So when you start a business, as you said, when you know, here's all the things that you line up. And sometimes you can't afford to have a lot of employees when you start out. So I think being able to teach, I consider myself a teacher now, a problem solver. The more that you can solve problems and you can break something down into its basic parts, that's all the better. I'd say for me, I truly enjoy just making people happy. Um, when customers come in and, and seeing that, oh my gosh, like it's so good, that, that reaction when they try our food or to someone to come back and say what it meant to them for us to be able to cater a special event. Um, some of our customers, we serve their last meal. And that's a huge honor. Some customers, we've served them at their wedding, which is a huge honor. Um, some customers, we've served them the first time they've ever had barbecue. Uh, huge honor. So for me, it's seeing that enjoyment, that somebody's truly appreciating the fruits of my labor. Um, that, to me, makes a huge difference in what I do every day. Faith. Uh, there's been a lot of times that we weren't sure we were going to be able to, to get through different times. And we were really able to, to pray and work together as a family, as a team. And and things that you, we never thought were going to happen just all of a sudden popped up. And you didn't weren't expecting the solutions that were going to come. But they always do. You just got to keep keep the faith and keep working together and don't don't give up for sure. 